fronts 602 days of war. While in the meantime, Israeli-Palestinian war has reached 12 days. There is nothing very special compared to what has been happening in last days. Except that a hospital was hit by missile and due fire, more than 500 patients and others died. Palestinians blame Israeli missile for this. In north, Palestinians tried to land again from the seaside, did not succeed. Many attacks in the eastern side on the IDF air base by the Palestinians, not much success. Lebanon, no significant incidents. Gaza Strip, of course, being hit continuously by Israeli Air Force, Navy, RT, and Masse. South Lebanon under intense shelling by IDF. West Bank Israeli security forces are detaining Palestinians in Masse. While Joe Biden landed in Israel, but ensured at the same time that UNSC rejected Russian draft on a ceasefire. Now from our main issues, that is Ukrainian war zone. In southern side on Kherson front, Ukrainians landing on islands as well as on left bank of Neva River is continuing. Ukrainian troops working along a railway bridge made a breakthrough and occupied Pema village on the left bank of Neva River and trying to move forward. On Zaporizhia front towards Oriko, Ukrainians launched offensive towards Verbov and tried to recapture the lost territory which Russians made it in last two days but did not succeed. On Rimifka salient, nothing special and whatever is happening is part of positional battle. In north, towards Swatov direction, Russian army continues advancing slowly but continuously towards Makivka. As per ISW, Russian army offensive on Kupian Swatov Krimina direction has made confirmed gains and advances. Nothing from Liman direction. In east, on Avdivka front, Russian army is continuously launching offensive and even towards southwest of Donetsk city, but no gains. As far as Bakhmut front is concerned, ISW reports that Ukrainian made some minor gains. On interdiction missions, Ukrainian missiles struck Berdyansk. It used ATACMS, which is newly acquired from the USA, and ground launched a small diameter bomb nicknamed GLSDB, whose ranges are 150 kilometers or more. Six missiles were fired. Only three were able to hit the target, but they made sufficient damages. An ammunition depot was hit and several helicopters on the airfield were damaged. The extent of damage is not known. While the Russians are continuing to strike Ukrainian's military targets, like in Odisha, Voznesensk military airfield, Sloviansk and other areas. Some other informations. India plans to create a space station by 2035 and send its own astronauts to moon by 2040. While you must know that almost 90% of Indians have hit poverty line, where a person getting more than 35 rupees per day is not supposed to be below poverty line. I am never against scientific research and advancement, but for whom? That is the main question. Putin is in Beijing. Let us see what outcome comes through, though I am not expecting anything great. And winter is knocking Russia and Ukraine. World is witnessing massive protests against Israelis and even US and NATO, their involvement in Ukrainian war and whatever is happening by the Zionists in Palestine. 
and that brings an end to my talk today friends see you tomorrow almost same time thanks